In this video, we are going to explore some concepts, very interesting concept for stratigraphy. Uh, in 1958, Harry Wheeler introduced a um, very important uh, kind of diagrams for geologists, sedimentologists, and stratigraphy. Uh, actually, we know those uh, diagrams as the Wheeler diagrams. Wheeler diagrams are very important because allow us to uh, get uh, some idea about the time involved in sedimentation. Not, not just only the beds, we can get a very deep analysis of uh, some beds that were eroded or some areas in which we don't have any kind of deposition. Now we are going into the drawing board to uh, explain in more detail what uh, this concept is uh, ref it refers. My advice is to read the paper by Harry Wheeler. Nineteen fifty A in the APG journal. Uh, to get uh, some deep understanding of this concept. Now we are going to make an exercise explaining how to make a Wheeler diagram starting from uh, some basic concept. We are going to divide this video into three parts. The first part including the main concept that we are going deeper in the second part and in the third part we are going to apply with an example of the offshore some uh, re something related with clinoform in size valleys and and, and and all the stuff so now for this uh, first exercise we are going to build some hypothetic diagram in which you have an unconformity that goes laterally into a disconformity and finally a paraconformity. So we are going to uh, draw here some beds. We have some So, for us this could be a stratigraphic section. We are going to put some numbers representing the time during the accumulation. So, we are going to start with 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I go in into uh, 7 and 8. So this is the first step when you start making a Wheeler diagram, is to put the numbers for the different times Okay, this is the stratigraphic section. Here you can have we can recognize an angular unconformity here. We can uh, see here a uh, disconformity in which uh, we can have this erosional boundary with some parallel contact but with uh, some erosion. And here we have a paraconformity in which you have you, you we lack some time but uh, the boundary is just parallel and conformable so the first step to build a wheeler diagram is to uh, build the related time series for building the time series the first step will be to expand the time a very interesting concept in the Wheeler diagram is 
in a wheeler the thickness of the beds it doesn't matter a bed can be very thick or can be very thin but we are taking into consideration here the time involved during the accumulation so we are going to put here some numbers from 1 to 8 and we are going to show in which part of this uh, this time diagram time series this is time here and the deposition is happen for that for example we are going to see the upper boundary of one which is located here and the upper boundary of one also located here the lower part of the one is uh, missing in some part because we have no exposure here perhaps some part the lower part of the one here is missing because it's not exposed so this is the our one i will put some color here just to show the distribution of one okay this is one then we are going we're moving into the two bed so the top of the two bed is more or less right here and the base of the two bed is just on toward the line so we are going to build here uh, unconformity so the rest of the two bed is complete so I will put some color depicting this situation then we have the base of three which is located at the same point of the top of two then we have the top of three here and again we are going to move with this unconformity the same for the four with the top of the four is more or less here then with five is very interesting because the top of five is sometimes somewhere here the base of five is here I can put the line here and after that we have some parts of the upper part of the five which is missing because of this disconformity so I will put this erosion here up to this point in which the we have not lacking time at the top of the five so our five will be something like this then we go in with the seven seven is very interesting because uh, of, co of course the six is no non deposition so we have non deposition here during this time I'm going to explain later on non the position and when the accumulation of seven start the base of seven start a little early here I will put here this early in field here and then the accumulation of seven will be in all the extension of this bed as you can see here 
in a Wheeler diagram, we can open, we can span the time. The same for the eight. So, in this situation, you have here a disconformity. Here you have a paraconformity. Here, in this, in this situation, we have an angular unconformity. And uh, in part, in this uh, situation, for example, we can clearly recognize these areas on non-deposition here from those areas in which we have erosion. So in these areas, the beds are lacking because of erosion. We have eroded the beds here. This is erosion. And in this part we have known deposition. Different kind of uh, lacking of uh, beds because of this we can see in this time series. Of course in this part we have also erosion. So, this is the first step about how to build and how to understand a Wheeler diagram. In the next chapters, we are going to go deeper inside the, this concept with some more complicated examples of how to build a Wheeler diagram. Thank you.